Hello, boys and girls. This video is going to cover how to convert time. Here we have a unit of time chart. Uh, it's going to be our reference for all the problems we're going to be doing in this video. And in this reference chart, you're going to have conversions from seconds to minutes, minutes to hours, hours to days, days to weeks, weeks to years, months to years, and days to years. So here we have our first problem. We have to figure out how many hours there are in 540 minutes. We're going to go ahead and set this up as a proportion. So we're going to look for the relationship between minutes and hours in our reference chart. And I see here that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So I'm going to write that down first. 60 minutes and my N equals one hour. I'm going to draw a line under that and I'm going to plug in what I know from our problem. Well, I know that in the problem we have 540 minutes. So I'm going to write down 540 under here because those are my minutes. And now I'm just going to ask myself, well, what happened to the 60 to turn into a 1? Well, I know that any number divided by itself is going to give me 1. And what I do to the top, I'm going to do to the bottom. So that means 540 divided by 60 will give me how many hours there are. Let's go ahead and do that math on the side. So we have 540 divided by 60. Um, I know that 6 goes into four, uh, 54 9 times, so 60 is going to go into 540 9 times as well. So 9 times 60 is going to give me 540. We subtract. We're done. That means that there are 9 hours in 540 minutes. So let's write that over here. 9. Let's take a look now at our second problem. We have 96 hours equals how many days? Let's first find the relationship in our reference chart between hours and days. So we're looking for hours and days, or days to hours. Here I have 24 hours equals one day. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down first. 24 hours equals one day. I'm going to draw my line under those and plug in what I know from the problem. I know 96 hours, so I'll go ahead and plug in 96 here. And now I ask myself, what happened to the 24 to turn into a 1? Well, I know it went down, so that means I divide it. And any number divided by itself gives me 1. And what I do to the top, I must do to the bottom. So this divided by 24 will give me my answer. Let's go ahead and do that on the right-hand side here. 96 divided by 24. Um, I can't do this in my head, so I'm going to estimate. 24 is really close to 25 because that's an easy number to work with. I'm going to choose that. And 96 is really close to 100. And 25 goes into 100 four times. So 24 times 4 should get me really close to 96. Let's go ahead and do that here. 24 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 2 is uh, 8, plus 1 is 9. All right, would you look at that? It's 96. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the 4 here. 4 times 24 gives me 96. So that means I'm done. There are 4 days in 96 hours. Let's go ahead and now solve the third problem. And here we have... Three years equals how many days? So we're looking for a relationship between years and days. And I can see in my reference chart that there are 365 days in one year. So I'm going to write that down first. 365 days equals one year. And I'm going to draw my line right under those and plug in what I know for my problem. So I know that there are three years. I'm going to put that here, and I have to figure out how many days there are. So I ask myself, what happens to 365 to turn into 1? Well, I know I divided by itself to turn it into a 1, because any number divided by itself equals 1. So that means that this missing number divided by 365 gave me 3. I'm going to use inverse operations now. It means working the problem backwards to find the missing number. So I can ask, I can just say 3 times 365 will give me the missing number. Let's go ahead and do that math on the side. 365 
times 3. 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So that means that there are 1,095 days in 3 years. Last problem here, we're looking to see how many years there are in 208 weeks. So we're looking for a relation between weeks and years. And I'm going to go to my chart, and I see that there are 52 weeks in one year. So I'm going to write that down first. 52 weeks equals one year. Draw my line under those and plug in what I know from the problem. I know there are 208 weeks, so I'm going to write that here. And now I ask myself, what happens to the 52 to turn into a 1? I divide it by itself. So that means what I did to the top, I did to the bottom. So 208 divided by 52 will give me my answer. Let's go ahead and work that out on the right. We have 208 being divided by 52. Let's estimate again. 52 is very close to 50, and that's easy to work with. And 208 is close to 200, and I know that 50 goes into 200 four times. So let's see if that gets as close. 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 5 is 20. So there you have it. That's why it's a good idea to estimate. So we know that 52 goes into 208 four times, which means that 208 weeks equals four years. There you have it, boys and girls. That's how to convert time. I hope you enjoyed the video.